next we have Sonic X. Yes, finally. Oh, finally, what we came for. What we are here Sonic for. Uh, All right, y'all ready for our thirty seconds of gameplay? Of 3D and 2D levels yeah. from Hang Sonic on. and Shadows history. Now it's time for a glimpse of Shadows' brand new powers and gameplay from a standalone campaign, as well I know as we the do. official release About date. Fucking time, bro. Okay. The event's gonna get real mid after this. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mix up gameplay, capture on PC. Okay, here we go. Every generation needs heroes. Every. <clears throat> oh, generations. <clears throat> It looks even oh, worse. It you. looks even worse in this stream. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, Rail Canyon. Yo, Rifle Highway music. <laughs> of course, it's fucking Dude, a fucking ABM. Free head going into the pod. Wait a minute. This is. This <gasps> Ooh. Kinda, it looks kind of good. Looks. Uh, okay, there's too much generations here. I need more shadow. Thank you. Oh. Oh the, man. The. the Drastic contrast between generations. Kingdom Valley. Kingdom Valley. God. Yo. Two <clears throat> D Kingdom Valley. Two D. Two D. Dude, Kingdom Valley, bro. Yes, sir. Oh, God. Like Kingdom Valley looked really good there. The legit contrast Whoa. between generations. Oh, oh, there's the oh, wings. Ah. October twenty fifth. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Adventure skin yep. two. Oh shit, Terio skin! Terry, oh, okay, yo! Oh, oh, of shadow, right? oh my god. Damn, that was actually cool! Yo! Yo, what's going on guys, it's Chaosity here, and welcome back to the channel. Alright, Summer Games Fest has concluded, or uh, at least the first day of it, right? And we got ourselves the shadow, alright? And we're here to take a look at the website, which literally just updated, like, e even when I just ended stream, like, the website wasn't updated yet, so... The, the, the website has updated. I can see the new shit. We're here to take a look at it and maybe we'll analyze the trailer after. Don't really know. But before we get into it, if you guys like the video, drop a like. And if you're new, consider subbing to the channel. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right. So first things first, we got ourselves the website here. Like I said before, just updated. You can pre-order the game. Releases the 25th of October. So we are not that far off from the release for this. All right. But taking a look here, if we scroll down, features, uh, the return of Shadow in this, in this new standalone campaign, Shadow's nemesis, Black Doom. We read that before. We already know about Black Doom. Shadow Evolve. Harness Shadow's new Doom powers to battle hordes of enemies and tackle platformer challenges like never before. Surf on water, fly over obstacles, and stop time with the return of Chaos Control. Experience the ultimate showdown between Shadow and Black Doom in a new boss battle that will test your skills and reflexes. Use Shadow's abilities to defeat Black Doom and save the world. Here's where things get interesting. Explore the new white space. Stretch your legs in an all new hub world inspired by the open zone gameplay of Sonic Frontiers. As Shadow gains new powers, he can explore further and uncover secrets hidden throughout. If they did this correctly, this open zone by itself will probably be better than frontier than the entirety of frontiers not even gonna cap all right because with the way they're saying it as shadow gains new powers explore further and uncover secrets hidden throughout that's what i wanted for sonic frontiers i wanted i wanted to be able to use the side loop to like find hidden doors uncover secrets and all that they don't really do that in frontiers and like and like i said i understand like it was their first attempt at an open zone game but dang like the fact that they're taking experience and just things in general from frontiers the things that they've learned from frontiers and they're implementing it into this new little hub world for the side content i'm i fuck with that heavily that is really cool and i mean even just taking a look at the image here if we take a look at this image like this shit looks amazing I, this shit looks amazing like i can already see like you can already see you know a few level design elements like the aesthetic pretty cool uh very similar to fucking what you call it to bowser's fury with all the water I'm not gonna lie this is very similar to bowser's fury but like i said this that's not a bad thing bowser's fury was amazing okay but this is prob probably the number one thing i'm most excited for because what they do in this open zone if it's good they need to apply it to the next open zone mainline sonic title okay so that's probably like the most exciting part about this for me anyway because it's like they're taking the experience 
you know they're taking the lessons that they've learned from frontiers and they're implementing them into this game and if they implement them right it'll be a real fun experience all right and of course down here we got our trailer which again we're going to be taking a look at in a little bit uh new screenshots rail canyon yeah more high-res images they definitely did touch up gens a little bit in terms of visuals like it's not entirely the same but they did touch it up which is good high-res screenshots that reflection is still pixelated rip all right moving on down here we have ourselves the pre-orders which apparently playstation gets some exclusive shit so if we take a look here uh steam for the let's say the digital deluxe even though I, you know, I wouldn't want to buy it, but I'm a Sonic fan. I'm a sucker for this shit, so I'm buying it. Digital Deluxe for Steam, full game, legacy skin for Modern Sonic. Uh, played a day, played a game three days early. Digital Deluxe Season Pass, additional character skin and level for Shadow. The Terio skin, the BGM pack, art book and soundtrack, and skill points for generations. Okay, so. So Shadow Generations or the Shadow portion doesn't have like a skill tree like I thought. I thought Shadow Generations was going to have like a skill tree like it did in Frontiers. But the skill points is for gens itself. So the PlayStation, PlayStation users get exclusive prologue animations. Now, hopefully that doesn't mean that they're going to cut the animation for this game. Like just from, from all versions except PlayStation. Early release not available on Switch. I just noticed that. But yeah, PlayStation apparently gets an exclusive prologue animation. So, I mean, I don't know if it's actually like the animation itself. Because I heard that uh, there's some animations that they have cut from the prologue that they won't be including. And maybe PlayStation's getting those cut animations or just the animation itself. I'm not sure which is which. But uh, clearly PlayStation is getting a little bit extra here. Which I guess is kind of good to see. But at the same time don't know why they would do that yeah i guess we can go ahead and take a look at the trailer now which we have right here all right so obviously you guys already seen my reaction at the beginning of the video so we don't need audio we just want to take just want to take a look through the screenshots or just the frames that we get in this video right so obviously egg dragoon pretty good boss fight uh actually i, I wanted to check did they fix them reflections on speed highway here did they fix that no it's it's still pixelated okay but like i said before they definitely touched up gens a bit in the visual department so gens does look a bit better here we get some of the new shit all right so rail canyon boosting away from a train nothing new there this is apparently cgi i don't think this is in game shadow with the time eater we got rail canyon the egg pawns with the red shadows homing attack in-game cutscenes look way better than they did in frontiers there's actual animations going on here what is this power up that's what i want to know what is this i'm assuming this is like a time freeze you know chaos control time freeze power up because that train isn't moving and everything else is grayed out so i'm assuming that's what that is more level design here from the arc rail canyon kingdom valley looks amazing bro I don't think I've ever seen a Sonic game look this good. Like this, this right here, Kingdom Valley and Hedgehog Engine 2 looks better than like the ruins and frontiers in Hedgehog Engine 2. Like this looks so much better. But here's the only downside to it. There's 2D. <laughs> they added 2D to what was a fully 3D stage. One ultimate collection. Yep. Again, nothing really to dissect with this generation shit. And then we got this cutscene where Shadow gets his wings. This shit is raw. I love this. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Of course, we got the Terio skin. That that was hella unexpected. The damn Terio skin, I did not see that coming. That's crazy. Again, I mean, nothing I can really dissect in terms of, like, gameplay controls. Uh, level design looks a bit better. I can comment on that. Level design looks way better than what we initially saw. And, like I said before, we just got to see a whole bunch of more level themes. Like I said, Kingdom Valley, Rail Canyon. Like, I'm pretty sure we've seen Westopolis in some of the screenshots. So, this game is finna be fire. Not to mention the new white space open zone. Like, this game is finna be pretty good. Alright, this is finna be pretty good. Now, the only thing, literally the only thing holding this back is if y'all did gens correctly or not. Alright? 
if gens is still capped at 60 fps at least on the pc side of things right since y'all are re-releasing this game in 2024 gens needs to be uncapped it needs to have 144 hertz support if it doesn't that's really gonna make it hard for me to justify getting this game all right because i already have gens in its entirety i already have gens in its entirety with all the mods that i could ever want to play with right i see no reason to buy this if at least if the gens portion of this is not improved in any way i see no reason to buy this if gens is not approved in any way in terms of frame rate anyway visual visually they did touch it up all right i can't see that but if it's still capped at 60 what's the point but anyway that's gonna be it for me hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like and if you're new consider subbing to the channel let me know what you guys think about all this new news what do you guys think about this new white space open zone because this is what i'm most excited for bro the white space open zone this is what i'm most excited for but uh yeah man until the next video peace